I'm Rene Grothman, the author of Eulermas Toolbox. In this video I like to show some problems of numerical versus symbolic solutions and uh, when one solution is better than the other and that you have to be clever selecting the proper solution. We start with a problem from uh, computing interest rates. We have to find the zero of 120 times x squared plus 120 x minus 250. We can enter this equation like that using ampersand equal. That defines a symbolic expression in Euler-Mass toolbox. We can solve that in maxima and we get this. Well, it is something you can evaluate on a computer, but you need to because the symbolic solution is probably of no value to you. If you are not a number theorist, you will like to have some floating point number, some number you can interpret. And then 2 times square root 21 minus 3 over 6 is not very helpful. You can convert that to float in maxima like that. The solution we are seeking is 1.0275. Uh, the interest rate will be 2.75 percent. We can plot the equation and we clearly see the solution uh, close to 1, between 1 and 1.1. The plot intersects the zero line clearly at the right point exactly at the solution. If we make the problem a little bit harder, involving three years of interest rates, we have 120 times x cubed. And uh, that is not so easy, it's not solvable by school methods. There is a formula for that. Let us check if Maxima knows this formula. Here is the expression, and that's the solution. So Maxima can solve that uh, using Cardano's formula, Cardano's tricks. And the third solution is the one we are seeking. The others involve the complex unit i. We can make that uh, floating point number in Maxima by adding the float modifier. And the third solution is the one we want. Okay, let us extract the uh, third solution in symbolic form and print it using LaTeX with a dollar sign. That, as I said, is not helpful unless you want to do number theory. The plot clearly shows the solution close to one. Now we are using numerical methods. The solve method of Euler by default uses the second method and that delivers the solution like this. It is several orders of magnitude faster than the symbolic solution, maybe a thousand times. The other method in Euler which is available is the interval Newton method. It takes the help of Maxima to compute the derivative of the equation and delivers an interval which is guaranteed to contain the solution. So we have a proof that there is a solution in this interval. What have we learned from that? We learned that uh, solutions, symbolic solutions, are not very useful. In many cases, they look very ugly, like the one we see here. And in other cases, they are not available at all. So we need symbolic solutions to be replaced by numerical solutions, like the solve method of Euler does. So in the next video, I'm starting uh, to discuss some problems with large numbers and small results. Stay tuned and have fun.